all is well guys in this video we're talking about the collection statue expiration date other known as the CSED date what is it why is it important why should we care about it how can we use it so if you don't know who i am my name is christian on yemen i'm a certified public accountant and also a certified fraud examiner here in houston texas and we help with these type of things we do tax resolution tax audits financial state audits and much more but we're going to focus on that CSED date today so what is it? It's the date, that first beginning date of when the IRS basically came about issuing your tax bill. It's that date, then it's 10 years after. So that CSED date is basically a 10 year span of when the IRS can collect. They have 10 years to collect on whatever bill they issued. If they don't collect on those 10 years, that bill basically gets wiped off. The IRS can't collect on that anymore. You got to remember, guys, the IRS is the biggest collection agency out there. That CSED date is basically a 10 year span on when they can collect that issued tax bill. Right. So that's what that is. Why is it important? It's important because when you're going about navigating what type of tax resolution you want to go about, you want to look at that CSED date to make sure you're choosing the right tax resolution option for the main purpose is what if you only have 24 months left on your CSED date and it, you know, it expires. It's basically an indicator that you should maybe not look into an option called offer and compromise, where if you opt into that, it basically extends that CSED date, right? Or you may look into a partial pay where those payments get broken up in a timely manner where even if those 24 months come about, you won't be able to basically to pay that full tax bill in time and you only pay a portion of that, therefore saving you in your tax liability. So that CSED date, I like to call it the flashlight to your roadmap because there's that roadmap kind of lets you know what route you need to take in order to choose what type of tax resolution you need. Sometimes you need a flashlight just to see if the roads are bumpy or not. Uh, yeah, that CSAT marker lets you know what option to choose based on the date of expiration. So once again, this is a very short video, just kind of show you or kind of tell you what that CSAT date is and how you can use it to your advantage. But guys, just remember, IRS is a collection agency. That CSAT date is a 10 year span on when they can collect on that tax bill. Use that to your advantage. If it's towards the end of you know, expiration date, you can kind of structure it in a way where you can only pay a portion of what's left on your tax IRS bill. This video isn't for that, but I just want to briefly explain that CSED date. Once again, my name is Christian Onyman. We help with these tax resolution cases all the time. And leave us a comment in the chat. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know if you have any questions. Happy to get on the phone call and talk to you about this. Thank you.